Roll on. <laughs> Hello again. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dara and this is Diamond in the Rough Resale. This is the last little video I have of the haul that I have for everything that I bought at thrift stores during my epic little thrift journey. Last week, the week before, it's all been hoarded up in my car and I brought it inside and now I need to deal with it because we're tripping over it. So I've got a few videos before this where you saw everything that I got at the bins and a couple other stores. Today I have two or three different stores. I know I have a Salvation Army, the Cal's Place, and possibly something else. I don't remember where else I was. We will find out. Oh, Arms of Love, I think, is where I got this one. I don't know. We'll see. Let's start with the Salvation Army where I was. Because I didn't get too much there, but I did grab some stuff. Now, we have a little Saturday evening post tin. Did you want something? Did you need something? Honey? No, I was just like, Oh, trying to get Cooper? Yeah. Trying to get Cooper. <laughs> this is just the Saturday night, the Saturday evening post, a little tin. I think it's a repro. Blue was half off, so this was only a dollar. Let's see. This thingy. I loved the look of it, and I looked it up, and it actually goes pretty well on eBay, so this might be an eBay item. It's a little chicken um, cookie jar, and it's actually from the 50s. It's from Fapco. I paid five for it. F-A-P-C-O. And after I set, stopped giggling at the name, Fapco, then I bought it because it's cute. I don't remember what it's going for on eBay. I think I might try to um, put up a screenshot of some solds where we can see it. And she, she's in perfect shape. I love her. She's so cute. Okay, then... Oh! Okay, I got a couple things. Here. Let me see. There we go. This reminded me of the black Fenton glass you can find. Um, like I had some candle holders that I recently got and like this is just a cream and sugar and it's not marked or anything but it reminds me of Fenton and I haven't looked it up but super cute. Then this lovely thing. Hang on. But, oh it has tape. On the bottom, that's why. This was also half off, so this would have been four fifty. Four fifty. I love it. It's like small sawtooth, and it's so pretty. It's like that old pressed glass, early American pressed glass. E A P G. What's this? Something small. Ow. <laughs> This was half off, so it was $2. It's a little hand-painted egg trinket dish. Probably not worth a ton, but I like it for Easter in my booth. Mm. It actually looks like it may have been decoupaged, but I like it. We'll keep it in the booth. <laughs> I like how they were out of paper, so they were doing it in paper towel. Whatever works. I just don't need it clinking around on each other in my car, you know? Okay, so. Here, I've got some more glassware. It's like a couple of goblets. A little goblets, so very pretty. These are like a um, brownish, kind of an ashy color. Real pretty little it's goblets. Kind of the color of ashy, yeah. yeah. I got more than that. I think they were either four or six. Oh, five for $2.99. So there are five of these. I don't like odd numbers, but. So, if we round it up to three, that would mean that you paid around 60 oh. cents for each. Look at that one. This is another lidded dish. I paid three for this one. It's a beautiful blue color. And it's just a little covered dish like that other one, but this one's taped. I'm not going to untape it right now, but so cute. This, I'm glad they had another one because they have these priced at like a dollar... A stupid price they're two dollars each but when i went last time i got two of them because there were only three there and i wanted only two and they were half off so i paid two dollars for both of them then i got them home and i realized the one i selected had a crack so when i was back there i got this one and i paid up i paid two dollars for the one cup but this one does not have a crack in it so now i have a pair that's my thinking <laughs> okay then you saw in another in the video before this, I found some Fiesta cups. Oh I found another couple of Fiesta cups, coffee mugs. Some nice violet shade. Yeah, it's a beautiful shade of violet. 
eggplant, aubergine. Mm. Oh, and I got a thing of return address labels. I like these for my price stickers in my booth. I like it because I can print my booth number on it so I don't have to keep writing it. Anyway, and I also found a couple of cute little trays. This one was half off, so it was $2. And this is just a woven, um, like a reed, a wooden reed letter tray. And then this, I loved. I paid full price at $4 for this, but look how cute that is. It is it's like solid. A, it's like a little lap tray. But yeah, it's a lovely little tray. You can like put it on the edge of your bed and like put stuff in it. Like a... Uh... Keep it on your dresser and it'd be good. Like breakfast in bed, that's okay. Yeah, you could. But yeah, like be careful with breakfast in bed, though. Day. Ah, Mother's Day's coming up. Yeah. I love it when you guys do that. <laughs> Douglas has made me breakfast in bed in the past on Mother's Day. He's a fabulous son. I am a, a fabulous like, cook as well. He's a fabulous cook. He's just a fabulous kid all around. Let me just sing the praises of my oldest child here. He's home with me today. Sing the praises. <laughs> like an opera star. <laughs> Movies over the side so I can get to this other stuff. Okay. So let's look at this one here. What did I get here? Oh, yeah. This is the stuff I got at the Arms of Love thrift store. What's the other stuff that I got at the... Hmm. The Mel Trotter and Mule. I thought I bought more than that. I did. I don't remember what, though. Maybe it's still in the car. It might be. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I'm rambling again. But I got this stuff at Arms of Love thrift store, and I do have some more video of that. This is the day I was out with Evelyn, my youngest. She didn't have school on Friday, so we went out. I found this for $4. I have two more of this guy's paintings in my office right now. Not the epic collection that I have of Robert Cox, but this is signed Nathan here. And he always has this, um, it's beautiful. I mean, it's beautifully done. Like this little shed here on the water and those trees. And it's always taped off in an oval or a circle. And then they go over with the paint. I love it. And this is just my collection. I don't really intend to resell these. I just, I've really been enjoying this art. And like then a, a window. Yeah. And then I mentioned about the Mel Trotter Ministries. That's what I'm talking about because I also found this this week, another one by him. And first I was going to leave it there because one, it was $26.99, more than I like to pay for a painting in my collection. But I was also going to leave it there because it's kind of loose on the canvas. I mean, it's a little bit, a little bit loose. I don't know. But I... I'm like a bleeding heart. I had, couldn't leave it there. I wanted it, so I bought it. This is mine. <laughs> There's a nice little frame. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Oof. Anyway, also at the Arms of Love thrift store, which I think I filmed a video. Did I film a video? Was it? I may have. I don't remember. Is this? Actually, no. This is not Arms of Love. This is more Salvation Army. Okay, sorry, yes, this is Salvation Army. More, a different Salvation Army than the one before. Anyway, blue was half off. This was $1.50. It's this cute little trinket dish, hand-painted, and it is not marked. And then I have this lovely set. Oh, not that one. This is a Pioneer Woman kitchen utensils. And it's got the sticker on the bottom still. It's the Linen Red Utensil Croc. Dishwasher safe. And I paid five for it. Pioneer Woman. It's not a very, it doesn't go for a lot. Some of the Pioneer Woman stuff can go for a lot of money. And I've mentioned that before. It's like she's got a roll, some rolling pins out there and something else that goes for a lot of money. But yeah, look up Pioneer Woman and sort highest to lowest in the solds and you'll see what sells of hers. This was half off. It's an enamel lidded. <laughs> Thingy. There's just one, but it was a buck fifty at half off, and I love it. Then, where's the price sticker on that? I don't know. This is Treasure Craft, and it's like a little trinket dish slash I don't know what. It's too big to be a ring holder, but it's Treasure Craft, and I liked it. And this is the Yellowstone Park, is what it says. I don't know a lot about Treasure Craft. I just know it's very collectible and it's pretty. 
And I should go to that other thrift store that I was at weeks ago because they had a Treasure Craft canister set that I almost bought, but then I didn't. Anyway, speaking of canister sets, ding! <laughs> it's so cute. It was, there are four canisters here and it was $12.99, so $13, but blue was half off, so it was, what is that, $6.50? Six fifty for a set of four canisters, and I may craft with these because I've been seeing other YouTubers crafting and like refinishing kitchen canisters, and they turn out so cute. And I kind of want to try it, but these are great enough just to resell in my booth anyway, because so I can decide later if I want to. Here is the other one. This one is peaches. Are they marked on the bottom? No, they're not marked. And this one here has little grapes. And then this one with the strawberries. Super cute. Okay, so that was the... All right. So random. It's like I can't remember and I can't keep track of anything. So you're getting a random haul for random source. Okay, two, three, four... Away. Okay, now I do know for a fact that everything in this box. Ooh, we're off center, Doug. Can you see what happened? Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. Thank you. I don't know what happened there. Uh, there we go. Maybe I pushed it with the box and I think I would have noticed before. I don't know. Uh, if it was off, I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we'll edit it. It's mm -hmm. fine. Now, this stuff here, I know for a fact, came from Cal's place. It's in the basement of a church in Belden, Michigan. And they used to do cash only. And I try to prepare myself but to pay all cash. But I did need to use my credit card because now they have the ability to use Square. Because Square, I don't know. I, mean, I could just go on and on about like Square card readers and how accessible credit card processing has become for like the small thrift stores and everything. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Anyway, I spent over a little over $100 here, and I probably overpaid for some stuff, but I loved the stuff that I found, and we're just going to see. This is a little wood, probably just like a press board sign, and it looks like the ducks from Target, you know? I don't know. And I like it as is, but I might actually redo it more to be like more, a little more farmhousey than this, because it's like the paint is very chippy. Yeah, chipped but off a tiny bit. That might be a craft item for me. And then I'll sell it. Because I like it. Then there's a little box of mugs. I paid $3 for a set of four. And these are just old ones. They're made in Korea. I love the art on them. They're like these pretty little daisies or whatever. And there are four. I like the hand-drawn comical look. Isn't that great? It's like a look from the um, 50s or 60s. It's like the, the funnies in those old newspapers. Yeah. What are the old newspapers? when I was little, in the 80s. <laughs> this is one of the items that I paid up for because I liked it so much. First of all, I hear that yellow is very big this year. And this was a big yellow thing. Two, it's got a bird on it. Three, it's Hager. And I paid 12 for this. And that's not really paying up that much, but it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and I'm only just now realizing that it's been fixed and when the flowers fell out oh that's all right the flowers are gonna come out anyway so. oh, crap, that. yeah it's been fixed it's like there's a giant chunk taken out whoever fixed it did a really good job so I will just say that it is uh, has been it looks fixed. like the metal wiring has been like clipped yeah it's not a big deal you can just kind of shove it in there anywhere if you want excuse me let me put it right here just shove it on in yeah Cool. So it's chipped, but I still love it. And if I can't sell it, then I'll keep it. <laughs> anyway. Um, what else did I get? Oh, these guys are so fun. So these are like a plastic or a resin, and they were $5. And it's a set of two parrots that you hang on the wall. How cute are they? Um, so cute. And uh, one looks like a parrot. The other kind of looks like a tiny little, maybe a... I don't know much what about What is that? Birds. Is that called? Is that a macaw? Uh, I don't know much about parrots. A macaw, but... I think. Is it, I thought macaws were red, though. I don't uh, know. Are there blue macaws? Some some parrots are red. Some parrots are blue, yeah, yellow, all kinds, purple. Of, they're all kinds of colors. 
But I love these and I think they're cute and somebody else will like them too. So they're going in my booth. I have an itch, excuse me. Okay, paper. Oh. Some um, brass finish candle holders. It's $4 for the set and they're too small and too big. And the two big ones are in here somewhere. And I've got a $2 set of salt and pepper, wooden ones. And the salt just does this, and the pepper is actually a pepper grinder, which is cool. And there's this cute little flower pot. I don't know who makes it. It's labeled E3269. It was two bucks, and it's green and vintage, and I love it. And, ooh. I got two of these and I paid up a little bit. This is that opalescent, um, is it Fenton? I think it's Fenton, but it's hobnail. It's like a little cornucopia looking Jack in the pulpit top vase. And it's got the opalescent finish on the top. I got two of them. The other one's in here somewhere. How cute. A dollar for this. It's just a cute little ducky planter. It needs to be repainted. The paint is very sloppy, but I can do that. I love doing that. This I only got because I got a similar one at the bins, and they're both pepper. It looks exactly like the same. The other one's pepper, this one's pepper. But I can take that decal off. But they're West Bend. I don't know. They're cute. We'll see. There's a little egg. Salt and peppers. I got these for $2. Little egg salt and pepper shakers. And I was in the toy area. They have all these different rooms. And this was the toy room. And I got a little cupie for a dollar. I don't know how old this one is, but you know, it's a cute little cupie for a buck. And I'm going to have a going to because I have a ton of vintage toys that I've been accumulating from the bins. And I've got a lot of stuff. And I want to have one shelf dedicated to like vintage toys. So I grabbed those and then some of these cute little dolls. I'm gonna open these up. I don't know what these are. They're just made in China, cute little dolls. This one I think is a drink and wet. Oh, look, I gotta fix her hair a little bit. But she's this little old doll. And I got three of them. And I love them at 50 cents each, so I grabbed a buck fifty for these little vintage dolls. She's got a little diaper on her. <laughs> She's so cute. Is she marking me? I'm not like being creepy. I swear I'm just looking for marks. Gosh, that's cute. So cute. Anyway. Got a little Amberina. It was flash. And the flash is coming off pretty badly, actually. But it's a yellow glass with the red flash, so it may have been amberina, but I might just try to scrub the red off and just sell it as an amberina. You know? No, I'll sell it as a yellow amber glass, not amberina. Boy, my brain doesn't work. Here's the other two ones. These were from Gantos. You guys remember Gantos? It was like a department, not, not a department store, but it was a clothing store. My mom loved them, and we went there several times, and I had it. My very first silk top that I got, it was black with white polka dots, and I remember it vividly because I was shopping with my mother, and she bought a hat at the time we were there. Our brain's freaking weird. I can't remember what I'm supposed to do today, but I remember that exact, the way the store looked and the way the store smelled and exactly what we bought that day at Gantos. But anyway, these were from Gantos. These are vintage. <laughs> Here is the other little opalescent vase thingy. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another little amber glass vase. This was two dollars. Now, if I remember to, I will overlay a photo that I took to put on my Instagram. I should link my Instagram below anyway. See my Instagram of all the colored glass that I've accumulated over the past few weeks. I was cleaning it and I had it all on my table. I was like, this would make a good photo. So I took a photo. So. Here's a photo overlay if I remember. If I don't, then just like look up here in the corner at blankness for a while, right? Colored glass, I love it. This is adorable little swan planter. 
I love it. It was $2 and it is marked, but I couldn't see the mark, but I liked it for two, so I grabbed it for two. Lennox. It's a little Lennox swan. How cute. <laughs> oh, yes. This is a little creamer. Little amber glass creamer. It matches this. Cool. Creamer and the sugar. I don't know. What's in here? More salt and peppers. These are some cute little ducks. It was $2 for the pair. And they're not old. See, they got the little plastic stoppers, but they're cute. And it looks like they had paint on them, but the paint is chipped off. So I'll just get the rest of the paint off and sell them as white. The Blanc de Chine. White china. <laughs> if you want to get fancy. Doug, look. Ooh. It's a chungus. Ooh, it's, like a, <laughs> it's, just, it's like a fat rabbit. It's a little fat rabbit. And it's like a composite resin wood type material made from paper mache. I don't know. But it was a do it was about a dollar. And it's so cute. And he's so happy. And I love it. This. Oh, my God. Did you say one of them or were there two? What on earth did they wrap that in? I don't understand. These might have been just single mugs. Yeah, this one was a dollar. I think it's Norland's. Yeah. Norland's? This is a dollar, and I like the finish on it. It's really pretty. Yep, this is Norland's. It's pretty. A little stoneware. And this one I loved. It was 50 cents, and it's got the strawberries. And it's marked Teresa on the bottom. Like a little hobbyist piece. Then there's these, it's a little package of eggs. It was 50 cents and the paint is kind of coming off, but it's cute. And I paid 50 cents for it and it's an old Meyer sticker for 250. But they're new in the package, little eggs. They're so cute. I love eggs. And look at the Westmoreland. This I only paid $4 for. And it's got the lid and the painting is beautiful. I mean, it's Westmoreland. And it's like a purpley taupe beige. I mean, this isn't, depends on the light. I think it's more brown than it is like purple. But it's a satin glass and it's got the hand painted little daisy thingy on it. Oh, four bucks. And another, this is a little basket, a little Westmoreland satin glass basket that matches. This one was also $4. Yep, and that has a little W on the bottom for the Westmoreland. As does that one. I love it. Anyway, look at these little geese. Also a dollar. Anything Easter and spring-like, I am loving for my booth. So a dollar for that cute little figurine. These guys, 50 cents each, and they are old. I don't know how old, but the flocking is amazing for how old these things are. It's a bunny and a lamb, and they are light blue, and they are flocked to heck. They are so cute and fuzzy, and it's like their paint is still good, and their eyes are still there and really sweet. Oh, my gosh. I have to look these up because I don't know. I just don't know. They're so cute, though. I love them. You can go right there. Then I've got a few of these little dudes. The bunnies. I have no idea who makes them. They may have just been dollar store items. I don't know. But these bunnies, and then there's another little one right here. He's like, he fell down. He's very cute. Then, a couple more items in here. Oh, yeah, these little ones. <laughs> I probably should not have bought these, but I've seen them the past few times I've been there. It was $3 for the pair, and they are salt and peppers. And Japan, I am pretty sure. But this one has a small chip in the ear. I don't know. I couldn't leave them. They're too stinking cute. But I probably shouldn't have bought them, but I had to. Because they're too cute. What else is in here? Now, look at that. It's a head vase. This one was $5. Made in Japan. 
and she's got a beautiful flower and the flower is intact. I mean, it is not chipped at all. It's beautiful. And the beautiful little head vase. I'm running out of space to put things. I think, oh, I was gonna say, there's more than one thing left. Ah, a cat for my collection. It's a little calico cat. This is Sandicast Nodder. Sandicast, I don't think really goes for that much, but I liked it because it's calico and I like cats. Spending like the entire oh, day of here's the other Norlands. I knew I had two of these. They are both Norlands. I don't know if the set went together, but hey, they're really cute. Spending like the entire day in the video looking for the funnies in the newspaper. Oh, are you looking for the funnies? Yeah. The funnies aren't that funny anymore. I don't know. I'm gonna wax poetic about the old funnies. Anyway, that was everything. If you guys made it this far, if you watched everything, then heck yeah, more kudos to you. You know, I like to give you kudos at the end of these hauls. But I really, really hope that you enjoyed yourself. I would love to hear what you think. Please comment down below if there's something that you liked. That let me know what your favorite thing was, what you thought was a bad buy, what was a good buy. If you hate the way I do these videos, comment. Give me some feedback. <laughs> I love to hear from you. And I really appreciate you watching. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Have a great day. Bye.